Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. And today, well, today we're going to talk about SEMA. So this year we didn't go, we didn't, well, actually we've never gone to SEMA, unfortunately. This year was kind of, we wanted to go, but we didn't have the opportunity because she just started a new job and I'm out of vacation. Um, yeah. So at the beginning of the year, I took off a lot to help her out with some of her appointments for cancer and everything, which I used up most of my vacation and most of my uh, sick time and everything to do that. Cancer takes a lot of time, I tell you that. It, it takes does. a lot of, lot of effort, so. A lot of appointments. Next year, next year we're gonna make a goal to go to SEMA, okay? Okay, we're going to SEMA next year. She promised. Pinky swear. You can't you can't renege on pinky swears. You go straight to hell for that. But we have been watching a lot of the SEMA stuff. So this video isn't going to recap some of the SEMA stuff that went through. We are going to note some of the Broncos because we've been watching a lot of the Broncos that came through. One of which I'll link a picture here and I'll put the name of the company down below. But it's the one with the tracks on it. I have to tell you, that right there is probably the top uh, vehicle in my mind for something that stands out. You want something that stands out? That vehicle stood out to me way beyond anything else. Uh, any, then again, anything with tracks does. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's basically the tank tracks that replace the wheels. Yeah. Absolutely. Big triangular yeah, thing. Yeah, absolutely one of the coolest builds they you did this really year. You can't really use them here in Florida unless no. you're on the beach, no. but they're mainly for like snow and snow sand. Snow and stuff like that. As you could tell from the surfboards or the surfboards, the snowboards on top and stuff like that, you can tell where, uh, where they have that vehicle. The next thing, probably the best build I've seen. Now that was the most build that stood out. The best build I've seen in SEMA is the green one. And I'll show a picture right here. Remember the one we want the fenders for? Oh, the yeah. green one we saw? Mm -hmm. That one is, it, it's hard to explain. It is really customized, but it's subtle to the point you really don't know then it has replaced. It took me a little bit to really realize the fenders were squared off. They weren't round like these. They're more of the old school first gen, first gen fenders. That one's really nice. I now, really like that look. I really like the color. It looks really classy. Uh, hopefully Ford, if they try to do a um, a high dollar luxury edition of this, they take cues from that one because the inside is just as good as the outside. I'll try to find some. If I can find it, I'll link a picture of the inside up in the top as well. Absolutely wonderful. That's probably my favorite Bronco was the, uh, the squared opening yeah, the of the one. wheels. The green one. Well, yeah. not necessarily just the color because green's my favorite color, but I like the look of that rather than um, the perfectly round shape of the fenders that we have on here. Yeah, it's yeah, just, that was really It neat. looks more natural for them to be squared off because that's the first generation look. Yeah, we, we love the first generation look. Uh, if we ever get the chance to buy one, we will. Right now, prices of any car, new or used, are so astronomical, it's not unaffordable to most people either. to buy houses it. Yeah. Too. <laughs> houses, everything. Everything is expensive right now. It's not a time to buy anything that isn't. Uh, if you want to sell, now's the time. <laughs> bubble gum and candy, you know, that's anything more than that, you're spending a lot of money on. Now, I do want to have to say the one that stood out the most, the most, probably the most talked about, the Chia Pet one. I actually thought Chia Pet like died out and went like by the wayside. I had no idea that was still a thing. I, I don't think and it is. And it covered the entire Bronco, the entire thing. Yeah, I'll link a picture. Uh, <laughs> it is it is by far one of the weirdest builds I've seen. I have to give them props though, because they did it. And before they did it, they wrapped the entire thing with protective coating or protective film before they did the Chia Pet thing on oh, it. Oh, thank goodness. So thank they, did, they did it smart. But if you wanted to be noticed at SEMA, going there with the Chia Pet Bronco, as silly as it sounds, 
it probably has more people talking about that one than any other one because of what it is. And honestly, SEMA, that's what you want, is you want people to notice you. Now that was for, God, I can't remember, Qantas Lights or something, I think it was Quant, anyways, We'll link it up below what company was on it. It was a light company or something like that. Well, it wasn't theirs, but some of the products were on that Bronco. Um, I'm really glad that they wrapped it with PPF because I, I was literally thinking when you showed me that. No, it's wrapped in PPF. That they were going to have to replace like every single panel. <laughs> no, it's wrapped in PPF. Now, those are the three three that we like. Uh, well, the three that was noticeable to me. Now, there was a lot of Broncos out there, a lot of different uh, builds, a lot, a lot of, of ones, companies. a lot of different companies. And one of the things we wanted to do with this video and really for not just us, but for everybody else, we wanted to link down below of all the companies that we can find that actually have Bronco products. Now here's the stipulation though. It's not a universal thing like tires or rims. Those you can look up anywhere. You can find them. I'm talking parts like, like, doors or new roof or new hood or new fender something like that that is specifically just for the bronco or bronco sport yes there are some builds and some companies out there for bronco sport i will link those as well i will also note which ones are bronco sport and or both uh, and we'll link that down below now there's a lot of companies that you'll see that are at sema but don't have the products out yet. Yeah. The whole thing for SEMA is to show what's coming up in the future, not what's available right now. Right. While there is a whole bunch of vehicles out there, a whole bunch of companies out there with stuff for the vehicle, a lot of companies either are coming soon or are actually not even listed yet. There are a multiple, I've went through a tons of pictures and looked up all the companies that are on the, uh, the vehicles to see what those companies had. A lot of them didn't have anything, even though you could see the names of the products on the item, like it's the like uh, suspension <laughs> company or anything like that. Uh, I think it's Icon uh, Icon Suspension. They don't have anything on their website for that, but they have a Bronco there with whole new suspension from Icon uh, vehicle equipment or something like that. Um, We'll have a there, list down below. Yeah, we'll have a list down below. As those vehicles or as those companies come available with new products, I will keep looking and I will link some, I will add to the list down below. So if you keep coming back, look down the list below. The last one on there, I'll just keep making it. The new one is the very bottom one. Uh, just keep coming back. This also helps us because if I save something on my phone or on my computer, I don't have to worry about shit. I gotta wait till I get home to look at it, or I gotta wait till you know my computer's not dead. I can actually just look up on the YouTube content and look at that video and look underneath, and I'll have all the links down below. That way, I can go to any computer, look at that video, and shop to my heart's content. Yeah, uh, <laughs> which is dangerous. That's gonna be really bad having three Broncos, but. Yeah, drunk Amazon buying steroids. No, I'm gonna have to freeze all my credit cards. That way I can't use them. I have to wait till they thaw out. That's the only way to do it. I'll put them in dry ice. So anyway, yeah. um, refresh my memory on the Bronco Sport. Was that like a pre-runner style that they had there? They had a pre-runner bumper uh, for that it. That was kind of neat. I was But kind of I can't find look. it. I did find so lift kit. I did find a lift kit for her. Oh, I shouldn't say that, can I? I did find a lift kit for the Badlands. I'll just say that. I don't know if we're gonna get it yet. Yeah, we don't know yet. And also, <laughs> also and some rims. Also, yeah, and and some rims. Also, um, my little Bronco Sport has got a name, and I ain't gonna tell you yet until next video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I finally named her. <laughs> and it's a her, not a he. We still have to figure out a name for diamonds, the black diamonds. We'll wait till we get that. Suggestions? Mod. Mod. No. That was a TV show. I made you Um. Help us name our vehicles. <laughs> no, the Black Diamond, this already has one. Ben, uh, 
Badlands is Unicorn because it's just a weird, weird well, build. Um, yeah, it has everything going against yeah, it. Yeah, it has everything going against it, so it's a Unicorn build. The Black Diamond is the only one that we need. So, uh, suggestions for Black Diamonds, not Diamonds. It sounds, no. sounds like I gotta throw body glitter on it and call it cinnamon or something. So. And then put a Rihanna shine like a diamond. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, anything else with SEMA? So next year we're gonna go to SEMA. We've already figured that out. We're gonna somehow, some way, we're gonna go to SEMA. Why we're we doing it outside? Because it's not 80 million degrees. That's yeah, why. We're still it's still hot because I have the sun beating down on me right now. But, but it's not humid. It was 65 this morning, that which usually it's like 80 in the morning. So it's not real humid. It is just beating down sun. Now the whole point of SEMA for you that really aren't familiar with SEMA, which almost everybody is, but I'm going to throw this out there for people who really aren't that car savvy. Um, the point of SEMA is to bring out not only the cars and what's on them, but the brand, the new aftermarket stuff that's coming out and how well it's going to be received. If it's very well received, it'll most likely come out. If it's not so well received, more than likely it's not going to come out. So it gives you a first-hand look at how the public is going to review your products. Yeah, and that's why they companies. have it. In other companies. Most of yeah. SEMA is not, well, SEMA is not for your normal it's not a car show. No, it's, it's it's not a car show. It's more like for vendors. Men, yeah, it's a vendor. So vendors, media, builders, uh, builders, uh, body shops, and stuff like that yeah. can go see them. They're, that's what they're for. They want to see what they have to say about the items. And so far, pretty much every Bronco I've seen that I've watched other people go through, everybody loves the builds on them. There are some that are kind of weird. Uh, but most of them are really neat. They do have one with uh, Accu Air, the Air Ride lowers it down when you don't need it and raises it up for four by four. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of neat. Accu Accu Air, I think, is what it is. It's pretty neat. It's the first one that's done that way. I've never seen it. You're not going to drive it around at a lowered spot, but no. But it's a neat, uh, neat change. So again, I'll link that somewhere up here. Uh, picture of it. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's it for this video. Please, uh, if you like this, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, tag this video to keep informed of what new products are going. Keep coming back uh, to this video. I will keep it uh, ongoing for whatever we find, especially for the Broncos and Bronco Sport. Uh, at the very top of this description, I will put the link of Bronco Nation's list of every Bronco at SEMA. SEMA. They have every Bronco, Bronco Sport at SEMA. So if you're looking at something like that, you can look through the list. Uh, there's hundreds of them there, I think. I think at least 100 Broncos. Uh, and who knows, maybe this video and the pictures and the links will inspire you to build something similar. Build it, build it cool. Yeah. Build it different. Mm. We're it. gonna, we're gonna, couple, we're gonna definitely build it. Well, my Badlands can be built just like yours, minus yeah. the bigger Badlands name. Badlands can be built pretty much as it is. Yeah. Um, so the Black the Diamond team. will be a very high modification yeah, vehicle. Yeah, it'll be a high where modification. This isn't build. gonna be as high. We're gonna do the, the uh, Black Diamond more as a, Mad we're going to go off, we're going to go definitely off-roading with it. We're going to test out all the gear, but it's going to be more built for... Mad Max? <laughs> yeah. A re, like a SEMA, like almost a SEMA build. Not that we're planning on going to SEMA with it, but more of a SEMA build. Really nice build, a lot of nice equipment, because uh, that's what we want. We want to have something that's really nice to, to take out and go off-roading. Yeah, because why wouldn't you take a really nice vehicle off-roading? Better than crawling to the mall. Yeah, exactly. I'll go to the mall and crawl over some parking blocks. But we'll go ahead and end the video. Uh, if you do see any items or any companies that you notice that have Bronco stuff that's not listed, please link it in your comments, and I will go through them and add them to the list. Uh, again, hope you like the video. Hope you find it useful, and uh, hope when you get your Bronco, or if you already have your Bronco, you start customizing it. Make it your own. Okay. Yeah, and send us pictures on Instagram. Yeah. Our handle's at 151 Garage. Okay.
Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.